hey guys welcome back to my channel for another video so today we are doing the weeks three and four update for one book july 2017 um not much has changed um definitely getting chunkier by the day by the week oh excuse me i just said tripod um i do have some new additions as you can see i have these beautiful beautiful um this is a bookmark charm um it has on the bottom i'm trying to flip the other charm over has these uh glass beads and it has a passport and a camera um you guys know me i love to travel my family loves to travel so i have kind of a travel theme going on with these so i have these beautiful charms Let's see if i can get them a little closer so that is the camera and this one is does not want to turn over this one is a passport and then i have this globe charm get it to focus here it is um if you follow me on instagram then you guys may have already seen this but these are from uh tail to tell shop this is her information on etsy these are absolutely beautiful um this is her business card and they came with this this beautiful little feather i keep these tucked in the pocket and um i'm not going to flip this over she has a personal note that she um, hand wrote on here but i love this because it actually has a um wax seal on here that says for you and i i love it so i keep these tucked in one of the front pockets but i'm gonna go ahead and go inside but I just keep these um, tucked inside this front pocket um, and inside my package along with these she um, also sent me a little packet of um, organic Earl Grey you guys know in addition to my love of coffee I love tea as well so I keep that tucked in there I actually I can't remember whose video I saw where um, they talk about they keep a pack of tea um, organic tea um, or maybe she kept decaf tea I think so whenever she went out to like a restaurant or something in case they didn't have um, decaf tea or whatever kind of tea it is that she drank she always had a packet inside her planner and I thought that was really cool so I just keep that tucked in there not much else has changed as far as the pockets and stuff I just have some paperwork in here um, that we need for our move we're moving in was it two weeks now um, so I do have some um, new decorative items in here i'm not going to really go over them because i will be doing a setup video in august um once i have all of my coco daisy august stuff in here i don't have them all because some of the stuff um actually says august on it and of course because we're still in july um, i don't want to put them in here so i will be doing a setup video in august um so you guys know i keep a list if i can find it of stuff that I want to talk about um, just have this covering up a list of oh, this is information for my son's birthday um, and a list of people that we invited um, so some things that have changed I'm just gonna keep this here so I can find it I stopped using the DIY fish tip-ins on my weekly pages um, as you guys know I was using this DIY fish tip-in for my projects and then my meal planning and I stopped using this um, for a couple reasons first of all it was too much repetition um and this stuff right here i was using this to schedule when i would get specific tasks done because i don't write tasks on my weekly pages um the only issue with this it was becoming a lot of repetition because when i set up my daily pages at the beginning of the week um i go ahead and i add any tasks that i already know about um i go ahead and i add them to the daily pages when i set up the week so it made no sense to like schedule them out on here um where i was putting other tasks on the daily pages when i could just write these on the daily pages since i already knew when i wanted to do these things so that was being repetitive and then also um i have my personal size traveler's notebook um i did a flip through of it 
um, I think in my week two update that I was using as my spiritual journal. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys will see um, I have since turned that into my wallet. Um, so I keep my meal plan and my grocery list inside that wallet now. Um, and I did not bring it in here with me to show it to you guys. I will be doing a full flip through. Um, I have to get a couple inserts to put in there. Um, so it's not completely set up. I had um, just the the same booklets and stuff that I had in there. I had a, a lot of those um, notebooks were not used. I had not written anything in them. So I kept the blank ones um, and I have them set up. Um, I think there's only one notebook that I'm using, um, I believe. And I'm just using that to just take notes on the go if I need to because I don't always carry this with me now. Um, and like I said, I'm using that as a uh, meal plan and grocery list. So I'm going to get some, um, I know I need to get some Annie's Plans printables, um, some the like address and contacts because I want to keep those with me. And also because we are wedding planning, we have to send out like save the dates and um invitations and stuff like that so I need to start collecting addresses so I'm going to put that in there and a few other things so I'll do a, a setup video on that some at some point so that's where my grocery list is now so that um DIY fish tip in it got really repetitive so I stopped using that um what else um da -da 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 -da. and then the other thing too is um what ended up happening with these things too is as you can see here where you see X's like if I didn't get the task done on the day I had it assigned I would just exit out or sometimes I would end up migrating a task to a different week um, I'm trying to see if I had an example of it like same thing here I had somewhere I just exited out um, I don't have any I don't think that I migrated to a completely different week but it's no different than um, on my daily pages if I don't get something done on the day I had it scheduled then I end up migrating it to another day so again it was just being really repetitive so that's why I stopped using that um, I did again like I said because I don't use the um, personal size travelers notebook as my spiritual journal anymore um, I did have get the Coco Daisy um, Daisy Dory booklet this is just how it comes with this um, craft front this is just some scrapbooking paper I got from scrapbook.com this is a Coco Daisy sticker um, and I just cut it to size and I didn't want to bind it because um, I like this pattern too so this paper clip came in my Coco Daisy planner add-on kit so I just clipped this here and this is the Coco Daisy um, Daisy Dory for August um, I don't know if I'm going to use this little calendar for anything so I didn't cover it up um, and what I just do is I just use this as my journal for everything. So if I want to, like this was um, a little, I don't want to call it an essay, like a little mini article by Ira Glass about give yourself permission to suck um, because I'm just getting started with my art journaling again. So I, this was good motivation for me to have at the beginning of this journal. So this is for art journaling, dear diary journaling, scripture writing, um, whatever I want to journal about um, it's all in here so I'm not boxing myself in like I did with my um, prayer journal that I had before so like I said I have this just this is at the front um, I have my August goals in here um, this is where I decided to put my goals instead of um, how I did it for July like I said I did July really backwards because I wasn't paying attention I put these goals here and then I had um, on this page I had my to-do list and that was really backwards because the way this is how my monthly page is usually this is just August um, I didn't do a plan with me for this I've been a little under the weather for the past few weeks which is why I'm doing week three and four updates together so I just got it all decorated this is all from the um, Coco Daisy add-on kit the only thing that is not Coco Daisy is this um the icons are all um planner kate this scallop is planner kate and then these um banner flags with my football schedule is all planner kate but the um days of the week and the dates and august all of this stuff is coco daisy the 
decor stuff is all Coco Daisy. But this is how it's supposed to be. So my to-do list is supposed to be here, my calendar, and then um, what I have is on this page, I have my videos that I'm going to do this month and then the blog post. Um, I haven't finished it. This is what I'm doing in place of an editorial calendar because I don't know exactly what days I'm going to do these. I know that my weekly plan with me is I want to go up on Sundays and that's it because I just don't know. Like my Coco Daisy kit unboxing, I don't know when my kit's going to get delivered because they ship it anywhere between the 5th and the 12th. So I don't know when it's going to get delivered. Whenever it gets delivered, then I'll do the unboxing and put the video up. Um, so, and because I'm moving and all that stuff is going on, I don't know what day these videos are going up. Um, the week of, I'll know. So I just put a list. And then as I do them, um, I'll add them to my calendar. So basically, this is what I'm doing in place of an editorial calendar, is just keeping a running list of what videos I want to work on, what blog posts I want to work on for the month. And like I said, as I work on them, um, or as I get to the week and I know I want to do them, I'll just add them into the calendar if I want to do it that way. And then as far as my social media goals and stuff like that and tracking, I just put that on my goals page. Um, and just other goals that I wanted to do. So that's what I'm using and then I did some personal journaling and then I just have the rest of this Coco Daisy um, booklet to just do whatever, like I said, journaling, scripture writing. Um, I know in August is my son's birthday, my fiance's birthday, we're moving, um, we're going to the zoo for my son's birthday so there's going to be pictures and memorabilia and all kinds of stuff that I'm going to do some kind of art journaling and scrap journaling. And then I left some space at the end to do like some reflection and then um, to list my accomplishments for the month. And so that is my plan. Um, I upgraded from just the planner add-on kit. So starting in September, um, well actually starting in August, I'll get the September kit. But I will be getting the planner add-on kit, but I'll be getting the full Daisy Dory kit. So I'll get one of these booklets and then all of the decorative paper and stickers and washi tape and all that plus the planner add-on kit that I got and then I also get the dashboard kits um, so that I'll be doing the unboxing and you guys will see all of that so I'll get one of these booklets every month and that's what I plan on doing is whatever kind of journaling comes to mind so this has been working really well to have this in my planner and to not be limited to what type of journaling I do in it whatever like I said whatever I want to do um, so that works out really well um, and that, that's pretty much the only thing that has really changed. Like I said, I've been, um, kind of not feeling well and down and out. So I planned out this week. I didn't do a plan with me this week either because I wasn't feeling well. Um, so I didn't do a plan with me. Then I didn't really do anything this week at all. As you can see, most of my to-do list didn't get done. Um, and then this is this current week. I did not plan it out at all. The only thing I have my countdown for when we're moving. This is next week coming up. Um, I'm getting ready to do some planning and do an actual plan with me. But um, that's it. This, Like I said, I had planned this week out, but um, I, I didn't, I had planned it out, but I, I really didn't get much done. Um, so all this was pre-planned, but as you can see, nothing is checked off. This day, nothing got done, and then this was that week where I didn't plan anything out at all. I didn't finish out the end of the week, Monday, Tuesday. I started writing things in as I started feeling better. Um, and then I kind of started getting things caught up and done. And today is Friday that I'm filming this and kind of getting caught back up. But that's, that's pretty much it. Um, everything is working out really, really well. I'm kind of back on my feet. I just filmed my um, Habit 7 of my 7 Habits book club. So it was the very last... Um, video for my seven habits book club so that video will be up before you guys see this one um, so I'm glad to have that done very very late but glad I got it out but um, if you guys have any questions let me know I don't think I'm going to be doing any more one book July videos um, because again this is week three and four but um, like I said I will be doing an August setup video and I think, I guess I'll talk about what I learned from One Book July. I guess I'll have to go back to my first video to see 
what I hope to accomplish. Um, my biggest thing was just getting used to this new planner and this new setup and um, that has worked out really well. That has worked out really, really well, um, including changing this up and um, putting this journaling insert in. Um, I've gotten really, really used to having um, a bound system and not having rings, not being able to change the location of things and switch pages around and using the index to find things. Um, and that was just the biggest thing was getting used to this system and, and everything else. Um, again, we're getting ready to move. So I'm um, getting some new routines and homeschooling stuff. I've been taking some notes on like the fly lady system again, because I was doing fly lady, but I really, I was doing bits and pieces of it, but I've been really, really getting into the fly lady system. Um, so, but that's it. So it's been, it's been working out really well. Um, like I said, this will be the last one book July video. Um, in my August setup video, it's going to be more of a decorative setup video, but I do plan on doing some more videos soon. Um, just specifically on my Hobonichi. Um, I had promised some videos in, um, some of the Hobonichi groups about, how that is working out but um again i've only been using it for a month so i do want to get into the system a little bit more before i start saying how great the system is or how much it's working but for those of you who have been following me since my franklin covey days then you guys will know i'm using this system the same way that i use my franklin covey system it's just different inserts same planning system um but yeah other than that so it, it's working out pretty well there are some little caveats and things um and i'll speak on that once i do a review of the hobonichi um because i think i planned on doing a video about um let's see yeah my struggles with the hobonichi and traveler's notebook system and how i overcame them so that video will be coming at some point but if you guys have any questions definitely let me know leave them down in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next one